here's, you know, here I am as Ellie. This is, this is who I am, this is what I think, and, you know, I hope you guys want to know that stuff too. Hi guys, it's Ellie, and I wanted to have a quick chat with you guys, a real talk, if you will, about life as a New Yorker and the funk that I'm in currently. This is just like a general rant, but I feel like it'll be good for you guys to see, you know, who I am as a person, not just, you know, my reviews on beauty products and stuff like that. While I love doing that, and I know you guys love doing that, like, you know, I've been kind of in a funk lately, and it's, you know, I wanted to chat with you guys about this and see if you ever feel the same way as I do. You know, living here in New York, it's really like nonstop. You get up, you, you know, have to get on the train with like a thousand people and it's kind of like a runway every single day. And this is one of the things in life that I don't know if most people even know is a thing, but it is, and it might just be for women. I don't know. Do you guys feel this way? This can totally apply to any place where you take public transportation for sure. I just, I feel like every time that you get on the, you know, train or bus or whatever it is, you are standing there with, you know, 30 to hundreds of other people and they're all looking at you especially if you're standing up and they're sitting down they're just staring at you looking at you what is this person wearing what bag does she have what shoes you know things like that and this is why I don't know about guys because I don't I don't feel like this happens much with men but maybe it does but for me I don't know it's weird you know I'm originally from the south so we drove everywhere and now it's just, it's one of those things. Like, I feel like even if I was just going out to the, you know, doctor or whatever in Manhattan, I would get on the train and still feel like I needed to look a certain way or look good just to be presentable. You know, you can, you, you can't really just like roll out. So maybe this is like a shallow thing. It could be that I'm completely shallow, but I feel like this is a real issue for me. So, you know, it's, it's weird. I know that it's not just in my head because you constantly see this happening on the train and I think if you asked anyone, any other girl in her 20s if this is a thing on the subway or the bus, I think she would probably say yes. So if there are any other girls out there that know about this, any girl at all that takes public transit in New York, please let me know if you feel like this is a thing or if I'm just going crazy. Because if I'm going crazy, that's probably the better case scenario here. So you just let me know. But yeah, so I just feel like a lot of the time it's just, like a judgment train. You just get on and everyone's just, oh, what what bag does she have? What is she wearing? Let's talk about fashion, let's do this. And I am not a fashion guru. I don't have outfits of the day. I may do that someday, but right now, I mean, like I am just happy wearing like my black clothes and looking, you know, edgy and whatever. I'm cool with that. But, you know, it's just, it just gets to be a lot sometimes, you know, having to just, always be judged, you know, at least twice a day. You've got it, your, you know, your way to work and your way home. And I work in the financial district, so it's about a 30 minute ride for me from my house. And it's just, it's just daily. So, you know, that gets to be a lot. And not only, not only that, but like the weather here is super weird. Like it'll be super hot outside but then that means the train is going to be freezing so you've got to make sure you're prepared for this and you've got to have all the layers you need or not and you may just be sweating the entire way on the train especially if you get in a train car that doesn't have ac that's like hellish so um life right now for me is weird i feel like you know I'm married and that's all going really well and I love a jet. My husband, he's the most amazing man ever, but I still find that I, you know, it's easy to get in a funk and for me right now that's because of my job. I work for a really small company. It's all of seven people and so we're kind of like a, a tight, close-knit family, but at the same time, sometimes when you're that close to people, it gets really difficult and you start to clash with them and, you know, some like emotions can run really high when you know people so personally. So you know, I find that it can be a struggle for me sometimes to to take like all of the emotions out of the situation and just keep it completely professional. And I know that that's the way things need to be. And if this were a corporate job, I feel like that would be easier. I don't know. But in this small business, it's so hard. It, everything is run by emotions and I'm just feeling pretty stunted by that. So, you know, that's a big thing for me. I feel like in my job, I want to be challenged and I don't feel challenged right now. You know, I've worked at Gotham for three years and 
I feel like I know how to do all the stuff that I have to do and it's, you know, there's not much more to learn and I like to focus my time on making sure that we're like the best we can be and that we have the best technology and that, you know, X, Y, and Z is perfect and it's so hard. It is so hard. You know, I'm a 23 year old girl. I left college after the first year and then I went to culinary school and all of that was completed by the time I turned 20 or 19. So, you know, I've had my few years in the, you know, workforce industry or whatever, but it's still really difficult, you know? I feel like a lot of times because I'm young, people look down on me and think I'm not capable of doing, you know, this and that, but that's not true. And, you know, I am so driven and I so want to just get stuff done. And, you know, one of my goals in life is to be in the top 30 under 30. And I don't know if that'll ever happen because that's a huge goal. But I have seven years left and, you know, I want to do everything I can to develop the company I'm in to be its very best. So, you know, it's absolutely, you know, not that, you know, oh, Gotham sucks, Gotham's not a fun place to work. It's, that's completely not the case. It's a fun place to work. I love my coworkers and my employees. I think they're amazing. So, you know, it's not that. It's just that, you know, I feel like I need more of a challenge and I'm just feeling kind of stunted and honestly kind of bored, you know? I spend 40 plus hours of my life there and you know, I just want to enjoy it. I want to do something that I enjoy. If, if it was up to me, I would film videos every single day of my life and, you know, have a new upload for you guys every day. And, you know, maybe someday I'll be able to do that. You know, financially, I'm not there right now. That's just not something that I have the means to do, but, you know, you never know. That would, that would be like the best life ever, I think, for me. And, you know, full-time YouTuber, can you, can you possibly imagine like a cooler job than that? I think that would be so fun. But, you know, maybe I need to get in a different industry that, you know, uses more personality stuff. And I think that that could be the case for me. I think that my job, I don't really get to use my personality. It's, it's desk work. It's, you know, whatever. But I need to be, I need to be able to use my personality and, you know, be social. And maybe I need to get in like a marketing slash social media thing. And, you know, currently I'm doing a lot of graphic design and retouching and stuff like that. And I love retouching for sure. That's like my fave, you know, you would... You probably heard that in one of my recent videos, but it's just, I feel like, you know, Ellie is missing from that job. And maybe this is wishful thinking, but I live in one of the most powerful cities in America. And it's like, I should, I should be able to do, you know, what I feel I need to do. And I just, I need to figure out how to get there. So, you know, that's leaving me in a funk and hopefully that'll all resolve itself. You know, I don't know where, what my next step is from here but what do you guys recommend do you have any like suggestions what do you do when you feel stunted at work or in life or at school you know what i don't know maybe at school not being you know being at, <laughs> i feel like for school kids and when i was in school i didn't want to be challenged if stuff was easy that was like the best so i don't know do you guys have any suggestions for me you know how can i get out of this funk what do you guys do to comfort yourself what is what is how do you detox your mind of you know stress and whatever what what do you what do you think so anyways comment below let me know i know this is totally weird and not you know the normal happy review post but i like to have some real talk with you guys and you know let me know what you think if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you dislike it thumbs it down and you know i am doing this stuff both for me and for you and i want to know what you guys think so anyways you know feel free to connect with me on twitter tumblr facebook instagram i'm elko nyc everywhere there so just go find me, let's talk about this, or leave some comments below, and you know, thanks for letting me vent. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Next up we've got the Revealed Palette by Coastal Scents. This is awesome. I use this probably every day if I'm not using it as a full 